going to make asparagus with pasta. This is a really nice dish. You're going to like this a lot. We start with the asparagus. I get them. I like to break them. People say that it's a good idea you can cut them. In restaurants you can cut them. In some restaurants they break them too because they're just much tender. Where they break is usually where the tough parts are and the tender parts start up. Olive oil. A wonderful thing. I put a little bit of this in my pan. Oh. I got that in. That's good. It's about, a, it's about half a cup. And it works out that. We'll put it back. And then we need garlic because we can't live without garlic in our lives. Garlic and asparagus is a wonderful thing together. Here you go. Water boiling over here? Oh, oh the what? Sure, I gotta put the pasta on. So I figured rather than wait for the pasta macaroni water to boil, we'll get it started early and we'll be ready. Nice. Let's cut some It smells good too. But I'm not really crazy about a raw. I know a lot of people are, and I can't say you shouldn't eat a raw, you should eat anything you want, whatever makes you happy. When you toast it, Saute it because it just gets a different flavor and adds a different flavor to the food. I don't like my garlic raw. I like my garlic sauteed. So I saute my garlic. You don't have to, but it tastes really good when you do. Anyway, in you go. So let that get nice and golden brown. Okay, so I trimmed all the asparagus. It's right here. I'll have to cut that in a moment. But the garlic is starting to brown, and I want to make sure we get the onion here just as the garlic is starting to turn. Cut the ends off this, I make a little slit, and peel it away. I like to cut this in half, and for this I like to cut it once in half this way, and then make canoes out of it. Well, half a canoes. Okay. Garlic is starting to turn brown now where I want it, just about. Yeah, it's perfect. Now we can hear the onions. So I'll take this. Here comes that sound. Hey! Oh, I love the sound of that. Listen to that. Oh. That's a nice sound. In the words of my cousin Joe, that's a nice sound. A nice sound. I gotta cut the mushrooms up because these are going into the thing too, so I'm gonna start cutting them now. Because he's a real fun guy. Oh, <laughs> I was driving the bad humor truck again. I know that. That happens occasionally. We should start telling jokes, but we won't do it on TV. No. That's enough to make anybody turn the TV off. Exactly. Bad enough we got to listen to them at Christmas time, when you guys started Christmas time. Oh, boy. Talk about nuts. Wait till we get to the Christmas show, since we're closer to the holidays. Oh, that's going to be fun. And wait till we get to the Easter pie, which, oh, the which Easter pie. may yeah. have to be in segments, because it's such an involved recipe. I got my mushrooms all cut, ready to go in the pan. I just want to wash my hands. Good idea to wash your hands. And I use my green works. I like this stuff because you use it, it works really well, it cleans everything, and it doesn't mess up the pipes, it doesn't mess up your sink, and it doesn't mess up the sewers. Biodegradable, environmental friendly. Yes, it is. Good policy. I think so too, it's a great idea. I've got the, the water, I put the water on to boil before to make things a little easier for both of us. So this is water is boiling, it's ready to go, and I've got my pasta. I like to use Jamelli for this. Jamelli's good, penne is good for this, ziti is good for this. But the Jamelli's nice, get that little twist. So I'm going to add this up, open this up, and add it. Now, this thing, uh, I'm going to heat up a little bit more. Add that to that, I'm going to put this on. Come on, because these take a little bit of time. I'm going to put this on 10 minutes and start it. 10 minutes, that, that gives you enough time, doesn't it? It should give me enough time to get everything ready and get this out of the way. Yeah. So we, have to, we have to cut down a little bit because we can't find this over 10 minutes. It slows up in 10 minutes. That's right. You only have 10 minutes to do your work and then you're done. Get a spoon. Stir this up. Okay. So this is starting to cook and it's getting nice cooked. Pretty soon we'll put in the rest of the stuff and we're ready to go. I think what I'm going to do is get a guitar, come back, sing a song. I'm going to do this. It's an old with Prima tune. It's called Angelina. And it goes like this. I eat antipasta twice just because she is so nice, Angelina. Angelina. The waitress at the pizzeria. I 
gave up soup and minestrone just to be with her own Angelina. Angelina, the waitress at the pizzeria. Dear Volio Bella, Angelina, I adore you. E Volio Bella, Angelina, I live for you. In a you have set my heart on fire. But Angelina never listens to my song. Why not give us the twice just because she is so nice, Angelina? Angelina, the waitress at the pizzeria. If she will be my Kalina. Then I'll join in that journey with the girl who serves the morning And Angelina will be mine And Angelina will be mine Thank you! I like to use these things to pick the stuff up so I don't drop them on the way to the stove. Oh, nice. It's a nice feeling. I have had this thing in my thing for... I think I used it once in the filming of this? No. No, I this is the first time. What is the official name of it? The, the thing. The thing. The thing. I call it a thing. It's a, a sweeper. I guess it's a sweeper. I have no idea. I should look it up. And the next time you see me on TV, I probably will have the name. But I'm not going to tell you anyway. So, yeah. Okay, we're going to saute the mushrooms really nicely now. While we saute, throw the pasta once or twice. And break up the spot. Anyway, I'm going to add this to the pot, put all the asparagus in there, take this away, let me get a pot out of the pot here, turn this around a little bit. I love how that mix it, it's beautiful. And let this cook, and just let it sauté for a few more minutes, turn the heat up higher, check on the pasta, it shouldn't be done, it's only five minutes, this is still not dead yet. Nah, not yet. Okay, this is cooking now. We add some salt to this. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms and asparagus can take salt, so don't be afraid. Like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, just the red thing does. Pepper, just a pinch. Not much, just a pinch. And some black pepper. A little more. Cook. Okay, we're back. This is sauteed pretty nicely. I have to. Uh, uh. Wow. Uh, I can do it. It's my house. <laughs> and I need some wine. Or maybe about a quarter of a cup. Maybe an eighth of a cup, quarter of a cup. Keep bringing the heat up. This should be perfect. Let it come to a boil, which it's doing now. Some parsley flakes. Hey, nice. Get that to this, and that's fine. Then I'll take it off the heat, shut that off, turn it in, let it sit and get really nice. Pour this in. Most of it out. I'll pour it back on the pot. This makes it easy. See, for me, it's easier. People have a million and one different ways to do things. For me, it's really easy. Pour it back in the pot. Take whatever you made for the pasta and pour it back in the pot with it. Clean the pot off really nice. Again, again. We're winding it up now. We stirred it all up. We get it nice and tight, the way it should be, and flavors are starting to work into each other. The pasta is starting to sound like the asparagus. The asparagus is starting to sound like the pasta, and we pour it all in here. Down in here, we're really nice. Mm. That looks good. And we'll sit down and give it a try. A little black pepper extra is always nice. It's always nice on this one too. So again, ciao. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Give this a shot. And God bless you all. I'll talk to you later. From La Canzone Cucina. Arrivederci. Bye bye.